There's many streams. That's like saying, is there one big, is the Mississippi River the only river? Is that where everyone gets their water from in the United States? No. Stay grounded, hold wings. Yeah. Like a shuary. Grow thoughts, plant faith. Yeah. Yeah. In revelation. Take flight, touch clouds. Yeah. Breathe water, vapor. Hold breath for stratosphere. Expectations You will You will tell you What's up you guys? It's Kenya. Welcome back. Another Nigerian food mukbang. Um, so actually, before I get into this, I'm going to show you, I did a little bit of a video before that showing like what I was going to cook and how I cooked it. Um, let me show you that video right now. What's up, you guys? So today, I don't have much time, so I'm rushing, but I'm going to do this because I got to eat lunch, right? So I'm going to do rice, plantain, <coughs> and uh, some meat. So what I'm basically going to do is, I got these. I've never had them before. Actually, I think I might have had them once. These Goya, these Goya Maduros. Goya Maduros. Maduros, Maduros. Anyway, so that's going to be my plantain. We'll see if that stands for real Nigerian plantain. This is called ghetto Nigerian food. I'm going to use the minute rice, but guess what? I have the jollof rice seasoning, so I'm going to like fry these together after I make my meat, because the meat will season the pan. What kind of meat am I using? Not ghetto. This is Angus, USDA choice. Three dollars of it. So I'm going to cut this up. And I'm going to cook it inside of a tomato and a jalapeno. Very simple. Very simple seasonings. And then I'm going to put it on a plate. And then make the rice in there with the jollof seasoning, which you can get. It's very spicy. Um, I've used this one time and it worked really well. And then since then, it's never worked very well for me. But it is good. It's just very spicy. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now uh, that I'm back, you saw that. Um, so what I did was, this is this is obviously, this is an authentic Nigerian dish, guys. This is how it turned out. Look at this. Look at this. What is going on? This is just a quick little lunch in the middle of the day. I'm super busy. But I said, you know what? Mickey D's, no thanks. Burger King, no thanks. What a beezy, no thanks. So I, I whipped this up right here for you guys to see. Um, so you saw the ingredients. Made it, it's, uh, got the steak, got the Goya Maduros plantain, um, and then this was minute rice that I made with jollof rice, and I used the sauce from the the tomatoes and the jalapenos, which came out really well. It's spicy and it's good. So that's it. Nigerian food mukbang. I haven't tried this yet, so let's see if this 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 lives up to the plantain, the the real plantain. Actually, I think I have tried this before. They're good. They're good. I like um, fried plantain. This is kind of like boiled plantain. I, I can't tell how they made these. If these are fried or boiled, but um, in Latin culture, they do the the boiling of the plantain a lot. I love the fried where it's crispy. There's this funny picture that Daniel showed me on Instagram where it was um, the different kinds of plantain. Which one is the right kind of cooked? The one that's black. You want it black. If it doesn't have a little bit of blackness, this is the closest one to have. Yeah, but this is the closest one to have that has any that has any blackness on it. That's the closest to being good. Boom. Oh, we can talk about that. Black is king. Everyone is saying that Beyonce is doing cultural appropriate. Not everyone. Obviously, everyone's not saying that. A few people who like to say stuff are saying that. And I honestly did make a couple comments when that part of the song came out where she was like, shine already, it's time already. I was like, okay. I mean, if Drake can, Drake does accents in his stuff too, and I, and I, I sort of get it because there is, there is a vibe to... So to is super confused about what he wants to be. He's mm -hmm. a half black, half Jewish kid who wants to be Jamaican and wants to like be Canadian and wants to be all these things. I'm like, dude, pick a race, pick an accent. Like, if I know what you want to expect, you might pop up on 
come here with a Nigerian accent, start talking like an Irish person, I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but basically Drake does a lot of accents in his stuff. And um, so I don't know if I can drag Beyonce for it exactly. But um, Black is King, I haven't watched it, so actually I shouldn't even waste time commenting on it. I'm sure I'm sure it's cool. Beyonce puts a lot of production into her stuff. She, she utilizes a lot of input from a lot of different people. Um, so I'm sure it's good. So these steak, the steak that I made that I cut up and I put in there, you guys, it's amazing. It's amazing. So you don't get a lot of like medium rare steaks in Nigerian cooking, but I actually made mine <clears throat> medium rare. But um, I, I will say this about the Black is King thing. I'm glad that... Um, African culture is popping, you know? I grew up, I thought it was, um, as Danielle, Danielle basically wrote the lines for this month, because she was, like, making fun of me, saying the things I'm going to talk about, but... Um, you know, I grew up eating Nigerian food. I never really thought about it. Mm. <coughs> I do remember, like, a couple times thinking that, like, if my friends came over, I might think it was weird, but I didn't think that that much. Um, I might have, I don't know, but it's not like I was taking jello fries to school my lunch. Actually, I probably did a couple times, but I wouldn't think that was weird. I'm like, I remember this one girl came to school. I wish I could remember her name. Edna McGuire Elementary School. Okay, I'm giving you too many details, but this one girl came to school with like seaweed. I thought she was weird. That was before I, I knew what was going on with, with like Nori. I understand it's a whole vibe. I was like, are you a mermaid? I've never seen anyone bring seaweed. This is elementary school. But anyway, so I'm glad she's doing her stuff. I think um, she gives me weird vibes, though, guys, um, sometimes. But she just works hard and she doesn't think, I don't consume any Beyonce stuff. I'm not even sure why I'm talking about her. I don't watch any of her stuff. I don't listen to any of her stuff. Truthfully. At all. Ever. But, um. That doesn't mean anything. There's lots of people I don't listen to. Lots. I don't think we think about that a lot. Sometimes we think that mainstream culture is like this thing. This is just water over here. I think mainstream culture is this thing that everybody participates in, but it's just not true. There isn't there isn't a mainstream. It's just like even with um <clears throat> you yeah, guys is so good. I don't want I don't want you guys to miss it, the viewing of it. I'm gonna eat it like this just so you guys can enjoy it with me. Let's eat together. There's many streams. That's like saying is there one big, is the Mississippi River the only river? Is that where everyone gets their water from in the United States? No. Mmm. He's really good. No. It's not. There's There are many rivers in the United States. There's many sources of water in the world. And I think... The more we see different cultures get appreciated, the more we see what's really going on in the world and that, you know, like there's different artists, tons of artists that you would never even think about hearing about. There are so many musicians, you don't even, you don't even, you'll never know anything about them and they make beautiful music. You know, that's why you guys don't want to, I don't think people should get so caught up in the mainstream and the, in the main thing that's going on. You know, dive into your niche. Your life is a series of your experiences. And anything that you haven't experienced is brand new to you. It's a new release. So there might be tons of tons of your favorite albums out there that you're never going to listen to because you don't go visit some of these genres and check out some of these other artists. 
Um, cause it's great. There's great stuff out there. And that's not just true for music. Books is there's books that will knock you off your rocker, inspire you, change your life. There's movies that will completely give you a new way of looking at things. Um, one of the biggest ways people like to stay closed off now is with uh, religion. People really like to be like, again, I didn't pray. I'm going to pray after the video. People really like to fight against religion, you know, and stand up and be like, oh, man, I can't even understand God or any of this stuff. I'm like, bruh, you can't understand the black blue dress thing either. Okay. The whole world couldn't understand that. And you think that somehow your understanding is a metric for what's going on in the universe. Get out of my face. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. Anyway. Hmm. And stuff like this rice was really good. You can, you know the rice is good when you eat it before the plantain. That's what we used to get in trouble with us when we were kids. It's like we eat the plantain first because it's almost like dessert. It's so good. Um, but it's like, how are you going to eat your plantain? You don't eat everything else or eat all your meat, but then you don't eat the rice. You can see I left some jalapenos here. I'll get in trouble for that. Say, hey, eat your vegetables. You have to eat the vegetables. Um... But yeah, don't 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 close don't close doors in your own house. Don't keep yourself out of your own room. Hmm, man, this stuff is really good. I really mean that though, with like art and then like life. I just think sometimes people think that they've seen everything. It's like you haven't even started, bro. You haven't even started. I know you're busy, but you haven't even started. I haven't even started opening your eyes. I haven't even started tasting. I haven't even started discovering. Look at a few paintings. You know? There's things that paintings will tell you about yourself because they're recorded selves of other people in HD. You know? The tip of a paintbrush has over 75,000 bristles. I made up that number <laughs> for, the for the continuity of what I was saying. But, um, see that thing fight with me? No, it's because of the fan. But, um, <clears throat> there are lots of bristles on a brush. And so, yeah, it's, it's great to see what people paint it's great to see what people write thousands of words that's one thing my mom used to always say like if someone's gonna take the time to write this book there must be something interesting in it and that's that's gonna be my mission my my message for the video try something new a piece of art music film outside of your comfort zone your mind will be blown try something new Anyway, thank you guys uh, for chilling with me. I know I still have some plantain on here. That's how full I am. I got to get to the rest of my day. Let me, let me eat everything. This one's really medium rare. That's how I like it, though. This is almost rare, actually. Not really. It's medium. Mmm. Mm. couple more plantains. This is one of the best Nigerian meals I've had that were this simple and fast to make. I'm telling you the truth, guys. You saw the ingredients I had. Minute rice. Obviously, that took a minute. These take three and a half minutes. The steaks, because I made them medium rare, took about two and a half minutes. Like, I literally made this whole thing. It was bomb. It was pretty close to what I know of authentic Nigerian flavors. The jalef rice seasoning really came in. I didn't think it was going to work so well for me, but it really came in and did what it was supposed to do. Uh... <laughs> That sounds like it's post a football yeah. game or something like that. But um, anyway, so give it a shot, you know, get the stuff and let me know if it works out for you. All I did with the tomatoes and the jalapenos, if you want to ask, because that was really key to it. A little bit of oil in the pan, 
diced up the tomatoes, not even that much. I had eight cuts, horizontal cuts, put them in there, mashed them out, half the jalapeno, do -do 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 -do, boop, put it in there, cooked them up, added a little bit of water, added a little bit of bouillon, added a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic. Um, what else was it? That was basically it. Um, cooked that down, added the steak in, did everything together for like three minutes. Amazing. Took the steak, the, 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 the jalapenos out, the juice was left, added the rice, put the minute rice in one minute, added the rice, cooked it up for a minute, added the jalap seasoning. Danielle added some butter, which was also a clutch. I didn't even, I don't even know where she, she's like a cooking genius. So she'll do stuff that she, I'm just like, I don't even question it anymore. I used to back in the day be like, you know, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying back in the day, but I used to be like, what, but now I just know she, her, her brain is connected to her taste buds. Anyway, so it was good. It was easy. It was delicious. And um, look forward to seeing you guys on my next mukbang.